I would say that there is definitely one objective, uh, is to meet, uh, to have a time together to exchange ideas, not just for FIFA to express some opinions, uh, to express some uh, projects uh, or to explain what we want to do, but really to listen to them, to listen to all our member associations. I mean, FIFA is made of 209 member associations and they are the ones who have the needs. Uh, we are working for them. We have to make sure that what we are doing meet their expectation and that what we are doing is what they need. It's clear that FIFA can do all the reforms we want if these reforms they are not implemented at the level of the member associations. I'm not even talking about the confederations, I'm talking about the level of member associations. Nothing will change within the world of football. So all what we have done, which I think we can summarize in two words, transparency and compliance. All of these has to be done at the level of the member associations. Different time, different timing, uh, at different level, uh, at different size, but still, I mean, we cannot work FIFA at the top of the pyramid if uh, at the bottom of the pyramid, which are our members, the member associations, we do not have the same level of organization. The work we have done over the last 24 months, uh, which results with what we know uh, and what was uh, uh, presented at the last uh, FIFA Congress, uh, this is really in order to um, protect the, uh, the, the good side of all what we are doing in football, with making sure that again there is this transparency, all what we are doing is organized in order to make sure that whomever wants to play, whomever wants to participate can do so, that we have information of how we are using the money, how we are spending the money, and again that all is in compliance with the international rules which are today running the finance world. Our world has moved and the new regulations are taking into consideration these new challenges we are facing in order again to make sure that there is no abuse, there is no um, corruption because it's a world that we are using uh, every day today. There is again these needs and these rules in order to ensure that all what is done at the level of the member association, whenever it's about spending money, uh, running tender process, uh, using uh, third parties, all is done based on the best practice around the world. Blatter is saying that football is more than just a game. Uh, we are saying that the World Cup is more than just 64 games or 32 teams uh, playing this uh, high-level tournament. Uh, football is really bringing something to our society. What we are doing with development is not just to build pitches, just to build football facilities. We are entering into the society. We are bringing education, health within our programs. We are bringing professionalism within our programs. So again, the football development programs we have today does not just touch a part of the population, just the one who are intended to play football, it touched the world. It brings potentially, as we did in Africa uh, for the World Cups in South Africa, it brings kids to school and play football. It brings health to a number of people who have no access to health, making sure that in the meantime we attract them with the ball, we attract them by playing football somewhere. So again, football and that's something we should repeat and repeat and repeat every day. Football is more than just a game and we cannot change the world, but definitely with our programs we can help countries for people to have a better life.
one of them is definitely what also is um, Brazil pushing for, is the women's development and the women's football. And we definitely have to do more on women's football because you see the attraction of uh, football for the women. Uh, so that's something we have to work on. I think that we have to make sure again that we protect the people who are playing football. Protecting them means that we ensure that there is this licensing project at the worldwide level which is really running uh, smoothly. We have to make sure that we protect the players by making sure that there is no abuse of the players, so that's what we are doing on the agents. We have to make sure that we protect the players by ensuring that the health of the player is very important for us and that's also potentially what we'll be working on once having on top of this uh, uh, license, I would say, a medical information information on this card uh, to, to protect the players and to have a full information about their health. So there are a number of programs where, again, it's not just about infrastructure. Infrastructure is still very important and that's something we have to do and to focus on. We still have a request for building pitches around the world, which is just uh, amazing the number of pitches we are asked to, uh, to build around the world. But it's more than that. Uh, uh, th there is no football without players. There is no football without youth and youth programs. So we have to start from them and just to concentrate on these youth players to give them all what they need in order to be protected and just to ensure that we follow this up to the uh, senior level where uh, uh, that's, these are the players who will bring dreams when they play at the World Cup.